Hey there folks, Mike, Michael from Power Playground here. Just wanna give you all another update. I'm currently working on the PowerBot 3D printer's power supply because it failed to power on when I tried to power, when I tried to turn on earlier. And uh, here's a reason why. See these little uh, electrical connectors? I've been able to uh, just remove some of these with my bare fingers. Let me set this down real quick. Yeah, oh, stupid. Yeah, these things things are coming off pretty easily. Like, yeah, there we go. I just removed that one with my hand, like, stupid easy. I don't, let's see, what about this guy? That one's actually challenging. So there's only like one that's actually staying on. So, don't mind me. Haven't done this in a while. Garbage. All right, so I was planning on doing some different content, but unfortunately, things got in the way. Mainly, this printer will not power on, so I have to do a bit of troubleshooting. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug the back in. I got these new XT60 connectors soldered in, much better than the previous connectors. There we go. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but the fan is indeed spinning. Now, take out our multimeter. So, Instead of today, or instead of um, doing the e-bike project, which I um, am doing it here soon, as you can see the battery packs are ready to be assembled, I'm going to be troubleshooting this. So, I have my multimeter out here. Let me turn the backlight so we can see that a little easier. Let's see if the camera picks up. Okay, yeah, it's fine. So right now I'm just testing voltage. Let's get them right. Of course, yellow is hot. Uh-huh. Oh, it's on hold. That's why it isn't doing anything. Okay, so right there, getting about 12 and a half volts. Right there, about 12 and a half volts. Let's test the other side. Okay, yeah, that's getting the same voltage. So the terminal is getting voltage. However, this particular connector here, um, last time I checked it when it was in the enclosure, it was not getting voltage. So let's try again. Yep, nothing. Don't know why that is. Maybe there's just a bad crimp connection on these guys here. Let's see, is it the same issue? Let me, let me go ahead and turn it off and plug it. Just cut power real quick. Could be that those connections aren't or poor, perhaps. But they don't, they seemed okay. So now, on the multimeter, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it over. There's, there's like a little uh, diode, or a little uh, sound beam, so I'm gonna put it in the, uh, for this particular one, I hit select. And of course, there's like a little sound wave right there. That's gonna beep whenever it completes the circuit. Or the, uh, of course, it's not open. So, yeah, this one here, that's our positive. Huh. Let's test our negative. Is it bleeding over? I almost wonder if it is. I shouldn't. Well, let's think a bit here. Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay. It's a bit of a bit of a user error here. So hopefully, I didn't do irreparable damage to any of the electronics. But as you can see, let's uh, let's get in here a bit. Yeah, this. I don't know why I wired it up this way, but these two are positive and these two are negative. So this is a negative going to a positive. And of course, this positive was going to a negative. So the bed, or both things are wired up. So yeah, one of these lanes, or one of these sets of lanes is the bed, and the other one is just the uh, actual electronics and the rest of the printer. So I have to go ahead and uh, switch those around. And fingers crossed that I didn't screw anything up majorly. So we got our Phillips head screwdriver, and we're just gonna switch these two sets of leads here that are right here. Yeah, because I was wondering, see, that, that's a good thing I did that little ohm test, because that figured that out for me, like, why is the positive doing, or crossing over like that? That's not right. Now, both ends of the circuit shouldn't be exposed to the same positive, and hopefully, I don't think it'll screw up anything, but let's see. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn off our meter, get everything out of the way, plug our power supply back in. Okay, LEDs are on. Oh, I have to plug in the board here again, duh. Hey! Okay, 
Let's see here, now the unifying thing, the LCD, okay, good. The LCD is showing nominal. So it looks like the printer works again. Good deal. Well, all right, folks, that is a short little video from Power for Power Playground here. I hope y'all liked it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, consider subscribing, and check out some other videos here. And hopefully I'll be seeing you all soon.